Rape is defined as having non-consensual intercourse with another person accomplished by means of force or threats. Intercourse is defined as any penetration no matter how slight. Now when we think of rape, we typically think of a situation where you hold a gun to somebody's head or you literally force them down to the ground and force them to submit to sex. And certainly that is an example of rape. But rape can also be charged in a situation where you have sex with somebody who's unconscious. So suppose you go on a date with a, with a woman and you bring her back to your place and you guys are making out and, and you guys are drunk and, and she passes out. And uh, once she passes out drunk, you take her clothes off and have sex with her, you can be charged with rape because she was not awake and alert and able to give consent. And we see many people charged with rape in just that situation. Now, rape is a felony. If you're convicted, you could face up to eight years in state prison, more if you have a prior record or if there's injury caused to the victim, and it would make you a registered sex offender for life. So the consequences of being convicted of rape are really devastating. That said, we find that a lot of innocent people get wrongly accused of rape, and this happens really for a number of reasons. First of all, there's a lot of false accusations. A lot of times the accuser will, will make accusations out of anger or jealousy or spite. We've seen situations where a guy was dating a young lady and uh, she wanted to take the relationship further and she wanted to be exclusive and he didn't want to do that and, and wasn't giving her the attention she was seeking. And she felt insulted and she felt hurt and, and made false accusations out of spite to get him in trouble. And situations like that are actually very common. We also find a lot of times the accuser will make a false accusation of rape uh, in order to get attention. A lot of times the accuser has mental health issues. The accuser is a, a narcissist. Uh, and the accuser likes the idea that they're so desirable that other people are desperate to have sex with them and uh, desperate enough to commit rape. And so they imagine things and they make false accusations to try to create this reality as part of their mental pathology. We see this very commonly. Also, a lot of accusations of rape arise out of a misunderstanding. So it may be a situation where you went out with someone and you guys were making out and there was foreplay and you ultimately had sex with the person. But later the person says, oh, I didn't really want to do it, but I, I was scared to speak up. I was scared to say no. I, it, it was against my will. But if that person didn't communicate that to you, and based on the circumstances, you honestly and reasonably believed that they were into it and that it was consensual, then that's really not a rape. Here at Shouse Law Group, we've had a great deal of success over the years in defending clients who were falsely accused of rape and date rape. We had a case recently where a young man was accused of raping a young lady that he was dating. And the family came to me right after the accusation was made and even before charges were filed. And I was able to go to the DA before the DA filed charges and say, listen, just wait on this a week. Let me do an investigation. And I sent my investigator to look at the background of this young lady who made the accusation. And we found a restraining order a couple years earlier that she had gotten on a previous boyfriend. And we got the declaration and we looked at it. And she made an accusation of rape against this other person that was almost identical to what she was accusing my client of doing. And I brought this to the DA and I said, look, this, this, this young lady is a serial victim. She accuses all her boyfriends of the same thing. And when the DA looked at that, she decided not to file any charges. So this case really underscores the critical importance of doing an independent investigation and being proactive anytime there's an accusation uh, of rape or sexual assault against one of our clients. If you or a loved one is in a situation like this where you're being accused of rape, investigated for rape, charged with rape, we invite you to contact us here at Shouts Law Group. The sooner we get involved, the sooner we investigate, the sooner we work up the defense, the more effective we can be.